Hi Cancer, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for February 8th all the way up to Valentine's Day, February 14th. Let's get right into it. I'm going to be pulling cards from the Tarot Mucha Tarot deck from Los Carabao. And then I'm going to pull some Oracle cards, Doreen Virtues, Romance Angels, Angela Hartfield's Whispers of Love, and then Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle Oracle cards. All right, Cancer, let's see what's up for you guys. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 8th to the 14th. What's going on for Cancer? Whoop. A dream come true. That's the wish card. Okay, oh, holy moly. What is this? Charity, philanthropy, reciprocity, giving and receiving, sharing your talents with others, and payment in kind. All right. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 8th to the 14th. What's going on for, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 8th to the 14th? What's going on for Cancer? So, oh, there it is. There's you, Cancer. Always getting the sun. Look at that. Beautiful. Someone might be having a baby because we've got the child here and we've got the Ace of Cups here. Sun and the Ace of Cups. Let's see what's on the bottom. Okay, rest. Always resting and regenerating, right, Cancer? We got that for you twice, I think. Sun is about clarity, seeing things clearly, success, joy, happiest card in the deck. Then look at this beautiful card. This is about fulfillment, self-fulfillment, cup running over, happy, 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 okay? Also could be a baby. This is the energy, the energy of regenerating and resting. I feel like you did this and now you're back and you're happy. Full of life with that sun energy. Fire energy there. All right. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 8th to the 14th. What's going on for Cancer all the way up to Valentine's Day? It's for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 8th to the 14th, please. looking out into your Facebook, huh? Seeing what else is out there. Wanting more. Victory. Freedom. On the bottom. Soulmate connection. Two people with their cups in hand. Being vulnerable. Being open. Being receptive. Alright. Now let's pull some cards. This is for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February 8th to the 14th, please. Can we get a love reading? For all the Cancers out there who need to hear this message. For those who are trying to manifest something fun and exciting in their love lives for February 8th to the 14th. Nothing's going on. We don't want to know. This is for someone who's got things going on. Or for whoever needs to hear it, okay? For February 8th to the 14th. In romantic love, please. For Cancer, someone rising in Venus. Alright, I'm going to end the shuffle. That's it. On the bottom, waiting, seven of pentacles. Situation, coming in hot with the knight of wands, passionate communication coming in. Tr could be travel, could be going to see someone, could be going out on a date, all right? Challenged by staying home, temperance, Netflix, and chilling, okay? Finding, needing to restore balance to your life. Consciously, queen of pentacles. Foundation, Ace of Pentacles. Recent past, King of Wands. Recent future, Two of Cups. You right now, Ten of Swords. Around you, Six of Cups. Hopes and Fears, Ace of Cups. Outcome, Chariot. There you are, Cancer. And there's the Seven of Pentacles. Now, I was starting to doubt this reading. I'm like, what the hell just happened? Because I don't even understand this. And then out comes the outcome. That's you. Okay. Okay, let's talk about this. Knight of Wands, someone youthful, passionate, fast moving, easy come, easy go. In there, hot, heavy, quick, fast, over, out. Non-committal, extremely attractive, outgoing, confident, passionate, fire sign, male, 
could be Aries Leo Sagittarius. Now, because there's a horse, that changes some things. Could be movement, communication coming in, going somewhere, change, some movement, okay? And it's related to the fire male energy with the wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Really, it's about fire male creative energy, making things happen, passion, excitement, high energy. And this is a very high energy card because the wands are high energy on their own. Then you got the youthfulness and the impulsiveness of a knight who goes out charging ahead. Double amplifies that, you know, high energy. Then you've got a horse to boot, okay? With speed. Very, very high energy card. Okay. Challenged by this temperance card. Temperance has, it's a fate card. This is a fate card. The outcome is a fate card. Everything else is free will. So the challenge is a fake card. The challenge is finding balance. Sounds boring, but it's about there's one foot on the earth, one foot in the water. And there's this temperance here blending waters, now water into the pitchers. I'm going to go two different pitchers. What does that mean? Okay, well, it's like finding harmony with the material world and your spirituality and your feelings and your emotions, okay? Restoring balance to your life. For example, if you've been drinking too much, smoking too much, doing drugs, then you don't do it and you stop and you detox. If you've been going out too much, partying, hanging out with your friends, then you stay home and you Netflix and chill. If you've been spending too much money shopping like crazy, then you should be staying home and saving your money and cooking your dinners. All about restoring balance to your life. Finding that balance back, harmony again. Temperance moderation also it's about blending there's a lot of blending in this could be some blending going whether you're blending families or blending ideas or blending races whatever blending okay if that resonates for you it just felt like saying it consciously you've got the queen of pentacles that's a mother energy right there that's earth energy that's in your conscious and your subconscious Queen of Pentacles is a nurturer, a mother figure, older woman, loyal, strong, dependable, um, protector, defender, kingdom take, take, take care of her, okay? Someone who rules the kingdom and takes care of her kingdom. And this is like, the Pentacles are like the um, really like legacy and, and royalty kind of energy. You know, where there's deep roots and there's culture and all these things going on that are important, okay, with the pentacles. And she's someone who, whatever you give her, she'll make it multiply and be fruitful. She is a nurturer. She's like the, the material world, the mundane version of the empress, okay, goddess Venus or something, earth energy. Like, she's the matriarch. And the subconscious, you've got ace of pentacles. It's like a, at the bottom line here in the hidden feelings that you want to offer an offer. You're thinking about starting something, some new beginning, some new opportunity to cultivate a relationship. Maybe even thinking about children because the Ace of Pentacles is a mother. Okay? So maybe you got that on your mind. But it's crowned by temperance, saying there's divine timing at work here. This is fate. What does divine timing mean? It means fate like there's planetary influences. There's other people's karmas. There's your karma. All of these things blending together to make things happen at a specific time, not just according to your time. So it's not just free will, your free will. You could do what you want and change everything as it is. Fate it. So there's lots of things coming together, blending, okay, making this opportunity when it comes, at whatever time it comes, that will be the right time when it comes, okay? And then you've got in the recent past, King of Wands. King of Wands is someone who's older, has now completed the suit of wands, they've mastered it. Wands are male fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone who's always creating, building, making, from vision to the material world, making things happen. Always. 
could be a businessman, could be someone who's always, cre the creative projects are always, you know, one after another after another. Someone who deals with making things happen. Some, you know, bringing things to the world, creating opportunities. Also, as a person, it's a mature energy, someone who's extremely dynamic, outgoing, attractive, high confidence, high energy, fire energy, male energy. In the recent future, you've got two cups. The recent future is going to bring you a partnership. This is a soulmate connection. And I'm going to say that because I don't mean it's your only soulmate in life. It just means a past life, you know, connection. And this is going to manifest to you in the recent future romantically. Because this is a love reading. It's not a, a career reading, okay? So otherwise I might say if it was, uh, let's say, finances or oh, you're gonna get into business maybe and collab with someone no there's a love reading so it's somebody that you're gonna meet in the recent future both cups in hand both of you open vulnerable ready to receive love and give love it's a beautiful energy you right now though you're not there yet okay you right now you're at ten of swords what happened cancer Ten of Swords is where people are coming for you and they're damned like you got sticking knives and swords into your guts and you're dead. Okay, Ten of Swords, you right now, this is trauma, straight up. I'm cracking jokes, but really, it's a traumatic card. It's something where something horrible happened, something ended. It can also be, you know, on a in another way, not something that's like tremendously horrible right now. It could have been like a relationship that has been going wrong for a long time. And it's just like, you know, you don't leave and you just, it just keeps building the tension and, you know, so many issues is basically something ended. Okay. Something has ended and it's been traumatizing. It's had a big effect on you. Ten of swords. And now it's time to move on. Now, when you see a ten of swords, it's saying it's time to move on because the relationship is dead. Now you can stay there letting them stab you over and over and over again. That's up to you. You can stay there for another three years like that, five years, 20 years. But eventually, you'll realize that that's not good, that's not right, that's not how things should be, and you'll leave, okay? Because it's dead, this relationship. So that's you right now, okay? And, and it looks like you embrace this rather quickly because in the recent future, you've got two of cups. Excellent. Excellent way to bounce back. Why? Because around you, there's a reunion Six of Cups. Someone from your past, someone from your community, someone from your school, someone that you're going to have a reunion with. In a love reading, I ain't talking about your, you know, childhood teacher or something, okay? Like something where you've got happy childhood memories. This is a love reading. So when I see a Six of Cups, I'm taking that as a reunion with someone that you've been interested in in the past. Possibly even someone you know that you nothing's happened and now you see them again and it's in a new light because that's what's around you this reunion is going to bring you this soulmate connection in the hopes and fears you're wishing for love you want to offer love ace of cups Look at the offering of that Ace of Cups towards this Two of Cups. You're hoping for divine love. Maybe even a child. Because I see two Aces here, right? This is in your hidden feelings, this Pentacle, Ace of Pentacles. And this is in your hopes. So that's your wish, really. It's not just for love, right? feel like you want a kid a baby possibly and then in the outcome there you are cancer that's a chariot major arcana it's a fake card and it's about first of all it's ruled by cancer secondly it's about maintaining balance because you see the two sphinxes there and when you see these um, chariots and things like that immediately it speaks to travel movement change of location news coming in, going after what you want. The chariot card is all about confidence and conviction. It's a kingmaker card. You go out to battle, victory is assured, you come back a king. Okay? 
and it's a fake card. So let's look at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Pentacles right now is about you planted a seed, let's say this Ace of Seed here, this is your subconscious, and it's grown now to the point where almost time to reap the harvest here. Not quite. I mean, here in this card, it's depicted with two of pentacles, and two pentacles in his hands. Really, in most tarot decks, you'll see properly, like, they'll have somebody just waiting while they're holding whatever gardening tool they have in their hand. They're just looking at that plant, haven't harvested anything yet, okay? It's almost ripe for the picking, not yet, though, because temperance is at work here, divine timing, waiting for the right time. And there it is, reunion again. This is Angel Gabriel, he blows on his horn. What happens is you see people in coffins that are resurrected. They're coming back to life, from death back to life. And this is an aha moment, an epiphany, where you get a major wake up call and you see things clearly and you know what you're supposed to do. Very, very positive fate card. It's a very good omen. It's an auspicious card. What it basically means is if you've got something that you're wondering about, asking about, it's a big hell yes. Heck yeah, okay? Also, it's about just like the dead are resurrected, come back to life, somebody from your past is coming back, okay? You already know who this person is because you've been watching them or they've been watching you. This is the watcher card. This wand's energy? I don't know. But this is a youthful energy too. Something passionate. You got this volcano that's exploding in the background. This is someone who's collecting information be before they make a move because they want to be sure of what they're getting into. And then there's that Ace of Wands, extremely passionate. They're extremely passionate about you or you're extremely passionate about them, whichever way that works, I don't know but it's a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. Five of Pentacles is about lack of faith, lack of trust, feeling left out in the cold. Now, when I see this with the Ace of Wands, because this is a passionate card, right? It's a, about kind of, with the Five of Pentacles, could be a time of being more into non-committal kind of lusty relationships as opposed to something that's long-term. This is the underlying cards, right? The underlying energy here. Let's keep going. Six of Wands. This is coming home to victory. People celebrating and cheering, speaking to travel, speaking to having some freedom. And also, it also has some people in the crowd that are cheering, but they're not all happy for you. And then the Two of Wands. One is fixed to the castle, one is free, looking into that globe, checking in social media and all that stuff, keeping tabs on people, expansion, wanting more out of your love life. Then there's the Queen of Cups. Could be a healer type energy, psychic, intuitive woman, older. Could be a uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be you. And then let's just do one more. There's the Queen of Wands. Fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And that's someone who's extremely confident and outgoing. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Looks like there's a lot of people here. Hierophant. Okay, like the Pope here. This is about faith. Faith, two queens fighting. Two people again to make a choice. Uh, and we get that for you too. This Knight of Wands energy, going after something, wanting to win, seeing it as a challenge. Scorpio with the Death card there. Leo with the Strength card, speaking your truth, communication. All right, we'll leave it there. I don't think I'm going too far in. But it's nice to take a peek. All right, so we did take a big peek into there. Let's get some Oracle cards. This is Colette Baron reads Wisdom of the Oracle Oracle Cards. Let's pull a card. Shit, that was it. I'll show you this card. Soulmates. Okay. Soulmates. And 
to the sea. Number seven. All right. This one flipped over. This one was still hidden. On the bottom, we've got a leg up with these mama polar bear and a baby polar bear. That just speaks to ask for help if you need it and the interdependence of everyone and delegating authority if you need to. Now, what was I doing? I was going to read you to the C with number seven. It says, essential meanings, being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. The Oracle's message, isn't it wonderful when you feel yourself in the flow of life, when events and conditions seem to engage you in a way that is fluid and effortless? This card reminds you that going with the flow is exactly what you need to do right now. Ride the wave of opportunity formed by perfect conditions. Allow trust and faith to guide you forward as you flow like a river into the sea of life. Relationship message. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires, to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. Then you've got 41 soulmates. I'm just going to read a little bit of it because it wasn't nearly flipped over. Essential meanings, harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing you toward them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially too. Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts relationship messages consider love in the deepest sense love so powerful that you will never be the same regardless of how long your relationship lasts consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed pay attention for you are in the presence of a soulmate come to guide you home to the real you Amazing. All right, now let's pull these oracle cards. This is Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Can we get a card, please, for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising? That was it right away. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. We got that for you before, Cancer. That's why you're getting temperance. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And that's all about putting in an order at the restaurant of love getting some relationship that was not satisfactory and then complaining about it. So basically it's saying you just return that order to the restaurant and you put in a new order and the key is to know what you're looking for because if you don't know what you're looking for just by virtue of the law of attraction you will not get something that you don't know what you want, right? You can't get what you want if you don't know what you want. All right, so codependency. Addictions are affecting your life. It says this card answers your question in perhaps a surprising way because addictions are the culprit behind the issues you're attempting to resolve. This could be your own craving for a substance or unhealthful behavior, or it could be your, that your partner's addictions are impacting your love life. This card is also an indicator of childhood experiences in an addictive family. Addictions numb the heart to pain, but they also diminish its capacity, capacity to love. Since love is the basis of your romantic partnership, addictions become a barrier to moving toward true emotional intimacy. This is especially true if you are twisting yourself in knots to please a person whose dependency has lessened his or her capacity for happiness. That no-win situation will negatively affect your self-esteem and your own happiness if you continue. Fortunately, lots of support is available worldwide in the form of 12-step meetings and other addiction support fellowship models. Whether it is you or your romantic partner who has the addiction, you can find free groups near you through internet searches or by contacting a local community health center. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about that with temperance. I said if you've been doing drugs and drinking and all that stuff too much, you need to go detox. 
and clean up. So these addictions are saying there's a lot of resources available to you. Ask for the help that you need. Even here, you got on the bottom of the deck a leg up, right? This is speaking to you've done as much as you can up to a point. And this card says you may not like to be vulnerable. You may not like to you know, admit weakness. But sometimes you need to do things where you have to rely on others and ask for help. And there's so much support and help readily available for you. People would love to help you out, but they're not mind readers. Like that's what the actual outline of this card says. They're not mind readers, so you have to ask for help before it gets out of hand. Okay, finally, we've got Whispers of Love. And this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February. Okay, that was it. Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. And then on the bottom, love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. Number 31. So love makes a difference. Okay. I'll leave these here at the bottoms of the decks just so it can give you kind of underlying issues, ideas about the underlying issues here. Okay. This is very short, and it's the last card, number 37. It says, whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you so you will always consider them. If your actions and thoughts take into account someone else's feelings, you will be more in alignment with a true relationship. If your partner is not with you yet, Generate the feeling that you are already sharing your life with your special someone. This will change the way you feel and can alter your attitude and your potential to attract them into your life. Okay, that's sweet. That's really sweet. All right, so that was your reading, Cancer. For February 8th to the 14th, don't sweat it. It's not a big deal. It's just for, you know, now till Valentine's. And please do check out your February monthly love readings. I have those posted already. And if you're in the mood and if you like shopping, I have two tarot haul videos where I show some decks and crystals that I went shopping and went out and got. That's fun. And uh, also how I had one used deck that I cleansed and uh, wiped down and all that stuff and how I did that, clearing the old energy out. And I'm going to probably post, I think so, I think I'm going to post a special Valentine's Day reading that I'll post on the 13th for the 14th for everybody it'll be short though okay so please stay tuned for those things check back for those things um those videos thank you so much for visiting i hope you are going to take care of yourself i hope that you will detox if you have these kind of addictions i hope you ask for help because it's not a weakness sometimes you know people who are strong and i'm saying my myself included i don't like to be vulnerable i don't like to be weak right? I don't like asking for help and I don't like to whine. But what I did find out was, you know, sometimes you see other people who aren't going through as much as you and, and they just, you know, just because they speak up, they get so much help, right? Even if it's something simple like having somebody listen for a little while to what you're thinking and how you're feeling. Therapy or, you know, a phone call, there's like phone, I, I, anything, anything, even if it's a group where you have to, you know, you listen to other people and you speak about your own issues, whatever it is, these are all very helpful. There's many resources available, right? And it's saying there's things you can do alone and there's things you should be asking for help because nobody's a mind reader. Well, not most people, anyways. And uh, yeah, temperance. Eat well, rest well, cut back on these toxic things, whether it be toxic people or addictions, and please take care of yourself. There is love here, there is a reunion. And it's saying, if you act as if your partner is here, right? Whoever you you have a crush on, whoever you've been watching, I don't know where the watcher card was, it's somewhere here, I don't know. Anyways, this reunion energy, okay? Coming back here, hoping for love, maybe even kids. It's saying, act as if they're already here. What kind of person would they want to be with? Because I don't think they want to be with someone who drinks too much and does drugs and all that stuff and is going to fuck up their life. So act as if this person's already here. If you've been in your feelings, if you've been moody, if you've not been happy, focus on that love that's making you happy and excited and engaged. 
and that gives you something to look forward to, okay? All right, take care, Cancer. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.